Hey y'all, Michael Smith here, the Beach Banger! Woo! Yes sir! You guys like my new do-rag? Huh? It's called persimmon. One of my favorite colors. I think it looks pretty tight. I bought it at Walmart, but don't tell nobody. I got something I want to say. I got a question for you. Did you know that April showers brings May flowers? <laughs> oh, you already know. Of course they do. And guess what? I got some flowers for you. Check out these local flowers that is native to uh, Florida beaches. Now that's a pretty little white flower native to uh, North Florida beaches. But that's not the flower that I'm talking about, my friends. I got another flower I'm talking about. I got an entire floral arrangement for you. Yes, sir, look at this. Now, I, I told you at the beginning of the year that we'll be doing some more rockets. And so uh, I brought you some uh, ghost rockets back in january and here it is may i got some more rockets these rockets here are by phantom fireworks called flower and willow rocket pack there are five rockets to a pack i'm really liking the color here got this nice yellow and gold got some uh, looks like ivy got uh, red uh, tops now three of these rockets are your standard rockets. The other two are ball shells rockets. Got a nice uh, flower design going on. All right. On the, on the back side here, it shows you what these uh, rockets do. We got a uh, sunflower with red pistol. Sunflower with blue pistol. Sunflower with silver pistol. Brocade with green strobe. And gold crackling to chrysanthemum. I, uh, I bought these at Phantom Fireworks, obviously. But um, these are something that I've been wanting to buy for quite a while. Um, the decorative packages the decorative packaging on here uh, always catches my eye. I think most people buy things just by the way things look. I mean, that's all, I mean, that's kind of first glance. That's kind of natural, you know, to buy things the way things look. Then once you look closer into it, you decide if you want to keep it or not. Anyways, I'm gonna take these rockets out of their package here and uh, load them up in the uh, rocket rack here that you guys like so much. I get a lot of good comments about this rocket rack. Uh, it's probably my best rack they ever built. I have two of them. Uh, all right, so uh, I got the rockets loaded up in the rocket right now. Let me take a look at them. They look pretty nice in that package. They look even better when they're loaded up, ready to shoot off. None of these rockets here have the effects noted anywhere on them. They're not labeled or numbered or anything. So we don't know which one of these rockets uh, does what. We'll have to wait and find out when we shoot them off. Man, 
it is a beautiful day here in Highland View. Highland View is just a little uh, area west of Port St. Joe. Real quiet area. Uh, the sun's out. It's finally, the wind has finally stopped blowing. And it's a nice pretty day. I know you guys are looking forward to watching me fire off these rockets tonight. And I'm gonna have fun doing it. So uh, when the sun goes down, I'm gonna give you guys something to cheer about. Are you botanists, are you gardeners, and are you pyros out there? I'm gonna give you guys something to cheer about when I let off these rockets over the Cape. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I'm out here on the Cape. The sun's going down. And uh, there's a little breeze in the air. The wind's blowing from the south. As you can see, the waves here coming ashore. And that's, uh, that's the south. And the direction I walk down from over there is, uh, of course, the west with the sun setting. West, north, east, south. How's that for a geography lesson, huh? That's her geography lesson for today. I gave you your directions in case you were uh, confused. Not that it matters or anything. But uh, we got a few minutes left until the sun goes down until uh it's dark enough to shove these rockets by the way we have yellow flags today yellow flags which means for all you swimmers out there it means uh swim with caution all right it's almost almost dark enough to lap these uh rockets I want to show you guys another little beach banger trick. All right, when it comes to shooting fireworks on the beach. Like I said, there's a, a wind blowing from the south. And we are dealing with rockets. And uh, back over yonder, there's a lot of uh, vegetation and stuff. Now, I don't think the wind is strong enough to push the rockets back that direction. They're gonna be going uh, out there toward the water. But to uh, help, you know, ensure some safety, I made a few precautions. Uh, you see here, I made a little lump in the sand, a little column. You see that's kind of flat, and then it kind of raised up right here. Well, what I'm gonna do is, is uh, I'm gonna take my rocket rack and I'm gonna kind of put the foot on it like so. So you can see there's like an angle. See there's an angle. I might have to increase the angle a little bit. By doing this, I will feel a little bit better about shooting rockets out here. I mean, I'm at the beach. There's plenty of water, but uh, this vegetation is pretty dry. All right, I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. There are some people out here with their beach driving permits and their vehicles driving around. And there are also a few people walking around enjoying the sunset and uh, whatever else. But uh, I'll get this thing started in just a second. We'll get these uh, flower and willow rockets uh, lifted off in just a minute. I just got finished taking off the uh, safety caps from the rockets. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, 
these safety caps right here are some of the toughest caps to get off. I've took off a lot of caps before and these are probably the toughest ones. Also, something else I did was um, I had to secure the sticks a little bit more. I had to um, close in these uh, zip ties to hold on to the rockets because they were moving around too much. You know, banging on the beach can be tricky sometimes. Anyways, I'm about to let these bad boys off. All right, guys. I shut off that uh, third flower rocket, and I was having a really good time watching them uh, flowers bloom in the sky. But that's when uh, I was interrupted. That's when my little party was interrupted. All right. The uh, local authorities was uh, in the vicinity. And uh, he came up to me and um, he was a nice gentleman. I'm pretty sure that uh, he himself would love to sit here and watch a fireworks show, but uh, he had to do his job. And so he shut me down and told me that uh, I couldn't chew off fireworks here. Uh, you know, I, I spent 25 years in the law enforcement field, and so I respect authority. And so when the uh, man with the badge comes around and tells me to knock it off, then I'm gonna do it. So uh, I'm not gonna shoot off the remainder of these uh, willow and flower and willow firework rockets from Phantom Fireworks, unfortunately. And uh, I don't know, I'll, uh, I'll post a video a later date and uh, we'll go from there. But until then, I'm the Beach Banger Keep banging.